gonna show the technique that I did on roll grappling. So first of all, I'm gonna start in a seated position in guard with my partner ahead of me here. So in this instance, my partner was stood up, but we're gonna just show it off the knee so it's, uh, you can see uh, more accessibility. So when I'm here, what I'm gonna do first of all is look to grab the near side arm. So I think in this instance, she was trying to grip onto my leg here. So I caught onto the wrist just so I had some control. And I used that to uh, reach nice and deep here on the tricep. Okay, so my partner's reaching for my leg. Maybe they're trying to elevate my feet, bring me down onto my back. I'm trying to keep my weight over my feet so that it's hard for them to lift and elevate me backwards. Okay, so when uh, he reaches down here, I'm going to first control the wrist so I have nice control and that's going to allow me now to reach nice and deep into the tricep and I'm aiming up into the armpit as I go. So I'm going to overreach just to make sure that if I, I miss, I'm still able to get a nice grip here on the tricep. So as I reach and grab, what I'm now going to do is extend this bottom leg through his legs. Okay, as I do this, I'm pulling forward. I'm going to now reach nice and deep behind the back okay to help pull myself up onto my partner's back here so i'm going chest back connected so i can pull myself all the way up and behind now in the match she was able to tripod up she looked to go to standing and that's when i was able to throw my second hook in because both of her hands were down on the mat so i'm here my partner looks to grab onto my leg i control the wrist from here now i'm going to reach nice and deep into the tricep okay overreaching so that if i miss i'm still able to get a nice control my bottom leg's gonna extend out, okay? And as I go here, I'm gonna pull him past me, okay? And reach this arm nice and deep to the far hip. Once I get here, I'm now gonna release this arm, okay? So that I can push up onto my feet and get my, uh, my chest connected to his back. So as I go here, I connect. My second leg, I'm just gonna pinch it onto the hip for now. And then as he looks to try a tripod, then I can throw my second hook in. Once I'm here, I'm going to control now using the seat belt. And if I want to bring them down onto the mat, I don't really like to stay here when they're tripoded because they can stand tall, they can shake me off, okay? I'm going to use my foot here on the mat to help push and drag him down onto his side. Once they're laying down here, it's way easier to control. Um, and then I can go from here, I can transition to, to any sort of attacks from here. And also a lot of the times in the match, uh, what I was doing was going from the back as she was twisting, as transitioning over into mount as well. So obviously in a submission situation, a sub only sort of match, uh, like I wouldn't really worry too much about that. But in terms of like if it's point scoring, then I can go uh, from the back to mount and collect points each side. So I can go get the four for the back take, and I can get four for the mount as well. So you can transition between the two and collect some points before you go for submission. Okay, so I'm here controls my leg. So if I wait here and I keep my chest high, he's gonna be able to elevate me and pull me onto my back. Okay, so I'm gonna lean nice and heavy forward over my feet, control the wrist, reach nice and deep. As I reach deep, okay, I'm gonna extend this bottom leg between his legs, drag past me here into this space. And now I'm gonna base my back foot, catch the hip, base onto my hand and drag myself up nice and tight. My knee is pinching on the hip so that I'm ready for, as he tripods, to throw my second hook in. Bottom leg is gonna push off the mat, break him down, and from here, I have my control. 